Hello everyone, my name is Veer and today we are going to see uh, how how you can write uh, custom commands in Cypress, okay? So, uh, first of all, I'll ex quickly explain you what are the custom commands, okay, and how you can, you know, uh, write that. So, custom commands are nothing but, you know, uh, user-defined actions, you can say, or functions uh, that you can write in one of the support file that Cypress provides you. Uh, just to give an example, let's say uh, you have a use case where you wanted to perform the logging actions, okay, and that involves certain actions to be performed, like uh, typing the email address and password and clicking on a login button, okay. So, all these three actions can be combined in one single custom command, and that single com custom command can be used whenever you wanted to perform a login, okay. So, uh, Quickly, I'll just uh, flip to the Intel, uh, sorry, uh, uh, Visual Studio Code, and then we'll um, see how we can write that particular uh, test uh, using the custom command. So, what we will try to do, whatever the actions that we perform, like you know, uh, adding the username and password. Okay, so that we'll try to uh, put it into a custom command, and we'll try to uh, use those custom command. So let's say uh, for that what I'll do, I'll just uh, create a new file, just give name as a login using say custom command dot cy dot js okay. and here I'll write describe a need block. I'll just give the name as a login test and under this I'll add it block as well okay. Let's see. login using custom command let's say <clears throat> okay, and after this, I'll just sorry, I'll, this should be like this. And let's say I wanted to first of all, I'll let's say I wanted to visit the website. And here I'll just copy paste this particular. URL okay and let's try to you know uh, run that particular spec file uh, and you know in order to write the custom commands you have to use that support folder and commands.js file okay so whatever the action that uh, you wanted to perform or you wanted to add as a custom command that should be added over here and the syntax for creating a custom command is like this okay uh, cypress dot commands okay let me just commands dot add and then you have to give the name okay uh, let's say i wanted to give the name as login okay and after that now uh, it it is a kind of you know function where uh, you wanted to pass certain parameters like say email and password in our use case it is email and password okay and after that it is a function so we'll uh, open and close braces and here whatever the actions that you wanted to perform so uh, for quick reference what i will do i'll just copy this particular uh, entire block okay and paste it over here so here what we are doing we are just finding the email box clearing it in and adding the username uh, and finding the password text box and then adding the uh, password and then clicking on the button so 
now instead of you know hard coding these values we'll just pass the variable names like email and the password over here So that way, you know, same command can be used with the multiple users. Okay, now let's see you, once you, you know, uh, in this particular thing, right, how you can use that particular command. So here, what you can do, you can just use cy dot login. Okay, that that custom command, and here you can pass the first parameter is nothing but the uh, the email address like admin store you can just copy that and then the password okay and the password is admin now let's save this particular file and let's try to run that particular spec file and see whether we are able to log in or not So if you can see now you can see two files and if I click on this particular file it will start executing that particular file. So what it will do, it will first open the uh, your website basically, the login page and then it will try to perform the action using the custom command that we had created. So if you can see it has cleared the text box okay and it clicked on the login button as well and if you can see it has logged in successfully to the website okay can see the page is currently still loading okay and you can see the test is passed marked as a passed as well okay so this is you know one custom command that we had written uh, that will perform the login so if you can see the number of lines that has been reduced right from this particular to this particular thing right it is quite huge okay now let's try to uh, write one more custom command to perform uh, this menu verification as well okay so let's try to do uh, this as well uh, write a custom command for this so what I'll do I'll just go to the commands again and here what I'll do I'll just write one more custom command cypress 
dot commands dot add and I'll just say uh, so verify menu okay and here what we'll do we'll pass again two parameters first is the uh, locator and second win is the uh, menu list This first will be the element locator, how you will identify that particular element and second will be the uh, menu list item that we need to verify. Okay, so we'll now try to use this particular thing. Okay, so for, for this also I'll try to quickly copy the code from this particular file itself. and I'll just paste it in over here and instead of this hard coded uh, this thing I'll pass the locator over here okay Now what we will do, we will try to use this particular command, okay. Let's say once we log in, what we will do, we will call that cy dot verify menu and again here we'll pass two parameters okay, first is the locator for the this this is the locator right so we'll just pass that locator and the second parameter that we wanted to pass is the array right so i'll quickly copy the same array uh, that we had created over here right so i'll just copy that into this particular file and i'll pass that as a array as well okay now let's try to run again so if you can see it has logged in And it has also verified the menu items as well and you can see the test is also passed okay so this way you know you can write your custom commands and uh, we'll try to you know reuse this particular command again you know to just to verify one more thing let's say uh, you wanted to uh, click on this first one of the comp one of the item over here let's say I'll just check which item has you know less less menu items for, for so that i can click on that and uh, then we can just verify so let's say promotions okay and just click on getting the uh, this promotion thing um, before that what i'll do i'll add one command over here cy dot viewport and 
So again, you know, it, it, it should verify all the menu, menu list items, okay? See, it has verified. Now, uh, let's say you what you wanted to do is now you wanted to click on this promotion and after clicking on that, you again wanted to verify the sub-menu items that are present under the uh, this promotion thing. So, for that, what you can do, I, what I did, I quickly find out the uh, this particular locator for this. Okay, and let's try to use that okay and how you can use this particular cy dot verify command again to verify the menu items that are present inside the promotion so for ready reference what i have done i had you know created one constant for promotion as well okay so quickly i'll just copy that and paste it over here okay and also you know created one command for that as well basically a code for that I'll just co quickly copy that so here what i'm doing i'm clicking on the promotions and after clicking on the promotions i'm verifying the sub menu items okay so we are reusing the same command right for you know that we had used to verify the menu items the same command can be used for the uh, menu to verify the sub menu items as well so I'll just copy paste the code over here. Okay, and I'll just remove this and save this. And let's see whether those changes are picked up and test is going to pass or not. if you can see it has again verified the sub menu items as well okay like discounts affiliates newsletter subscribes or and campaigns okay so if you can see we had you know how much code has been reduced okay from this to this okay so lot of custom commands a lot of you know commands are part of now custom commands and you know we are just having these many code that will help us to verify the login functionality as well as verifying the menu and sub menu as well okay so that's it for this video guys thank you thanks for watching stay tuned for more videos